This latest video from Chris Wetterich shows a car doing donuts in the middle of Spring Grove Avenue Saturday night. That's also when cars doing similar stunts shut down the intersections of Hopple Street and Colerain Avenue in Camp Washington, and others did donuts in the middle of the Lytle Tunnel on northbound I-71. Cincinnati police won't yet confirm if the drivers were the same, but say they are committed to finding the drivers involved. What does CPD recommend uh, somebody, a motorist, do when they come, on, uh, come upon this kind of behavior? So if you do encounter a situation that unfolded like we observed um, over the weekend, first and foremost, remain in your vehicle, lock your car doors, and immediately call 911. Lieutenant Jonathan Cunningham stressed to be what he calls a good witness, staying on with a dispatcher to provide descriptions. Ohio State Highway Patrol Sergeant Tyler Ross echoed that, also advising drivers to turn on emergency lights to warn oncoming traffic. And with street racing, it's extremely dangerous by itself, let alone blocking traffic on a highway. When you got cars that are going 60, 65, 70 miles an hour with our speed limits are, are variable throughout the state, and you have stop traffic, it's extremely dangerous. This appears to be a trend. This tweet from ABC7 in Chicago shows a driver doing donuts Monday night in front of the historic Chicago Theater downtown there. News reports showcase similar intersection takeovers in Louisville and other cities this weekend, and there have been previous reports of the phenomenon growing elsewhere across the country. We stay in constant dialogue with other major cities, other small or large agencies to see what's the next trend coming our way, because we like to stay in the front of these these obstacles that may interfere with the safety of our community. Now, the state patrol Sergeant Ross also pointed out anyone caught racing or even shutting down the roads for those who are racing face a minimum of a first degree misdemeanor, meaning their car could be towed or you could have your license suspended for a, a minimum of 30 days. And misdemeanors would be prosecuted by the city. I also reached out to Hamilton County Prosecutor Melissa Powers today. She wasn't available for an interview, but her office said she's committed to prosecuting these drivers to the Pulitzer Center of the law with felonies, if possible or necessary. Live in Camp Washington, James Pilcher, Local 12 News. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tab subscribe and click the links for more content like this.